you never knew what a brick looked like, it looked just like this. Wanna try me and my friends? What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Zay back with another video, and today we got a pocket saver, man. We got a pocket saver. Look at this. This is the biggest brick. This is a brick. If you never know, if you never knew what a brick looked like, it looked just like this. This motherfucker is a brick. All right, so I'm gonna tell you what I mean by it's a brick, guys. All right, so you know when you line up at the three-point line, you shoot, and that bitch do not go in. That's what this is. You know what I'm saying? All right, so it's pretty much to get into the shoe. I thought this would be the next shoe that would probably be, you know, a good cop, you know, for resellers like me or you know guys that want to get them off when they're sold out. All right, the problem that guys like us face typically are gonna be situations where these are still in the stores a whole day after two days after you know and that completely kills the value of a shoe um, because that means a lot of people could get their hands on it so that's what happened to these so i you know got ahead of the game with these i got two pairs I, I was sleep on the organs when those came out so i got ahead of the game without two pairs of these um reserved for me so when the shoe came out i made sure i had so i got two eight and a halves um, because it's a very common size um, it's like the teenage adult. It's like they were the same size right there. So like an eight and a half was a good size for me I picked it up um, when I picked up the pair. I'm thinking I'm gonna do well You know what I'm saying and they didn't do well. No one was really interested in buying the shoe and it made sense So what I did is I took the receipt. I went back to um, Where I go I'm back to uh, champs yesterday to return it um, And when I went to champs, I was so relieved to see that the shoe is still on the shelf. They just, the reason why I'm relieved is because I, I know I'm making a good decision by returning the shoe and getting my money back. So I returned the shoe, got my money back from Champs. For those, you know, I kept these. Um, I have a guy calling me now. Um, he just, I just ended it. I have a guy calling me now for this pair right here. So I did get one pair off, but these were just sitting here when like no one was interested. Except for this one guy that just decided to cop them. So I'm glad I got rid of the last pair, but these were a brick. Um, I don't think these will do well in a long hold just because of how many pairs were released. That that destroys any like any like questions that you have about a shoe. It, once a shoe is just over released, it's a wrap. You know what I'm saying? Like there's nothing you can do about that. Too many people have to shoot for it to grow over time. You know, there's still the people are gonna still have fresh pairs of these because people who bought these are probably not gonna wear them too often, honestly. Um it's a nice, you know, it's a nice material. If I want to get into the shoe, it's, it's a very nice material on the shoe. Um, nice suede underneath, uh, whatever suede or new buck material, whatever this is. White leather throughout the entire, um, you know, shoe. I haven't personally tried the shoe on, so I can't tell you like comfort-wise how it is. Um, the reason why I'm surprised they break is because these shoes are coming right after the Ray Allen PE. So normally, the way that you can determine if a shoe is going to do well is based on its predecessor. You know what I'm saying? And its predecessor is going for a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? I'll put up however much it's worth. I don't know, but it's going for a lot of money up here, and. That's why I thought this shoe was going to do well because the only thing different was just really this black and I actually liked the black more. The black accents, it made the shoe look better to me honestly. I also knew it wouldn't kind of in the back of my mind just because I didn't really want the shoe. And a lot of the time when I'm determining whether a shoe is going to do well or not, it's really based on if even I would get the shoe myself. Like you know what I'm saying? And that lets me know like yeah the shoe's going to go. If I would get the shoe, like I personally would get the shoe, then the shoe would go up because I know that there's a market for it because I would want it too, you know? So I don't know. Um, but with these, I didn't even want them. So I kind of knew too that it, it wasn't a step in the right direction. But then I was just really depending on that, you know, Ray Allen PE, you know, to make this go off. Um, and then what really killed it is when, you know, release day came and they sold as many pairs as they did. So I'm gonna get rid of these, um, but just letting you guys know that for me, if this was a copper drop for you, let me know down in the comment section below whether this shoe was a copper drop. I I say drop. I I, I guess it's a, it's a couple days after the release, and I I'm not I'm definitely not keeping them. So, but there you guys go, the Lucky Green 13s. Um, if you haven't already, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and turn on post notifications to get more in touch with your boy. And with that being said. 
You will see your boy later. Ah! And you know I really didn't like these shoes if I did not put the gloves on. You know what I'm saying? Just how you know I really didn't. You know what I'm saying? Wanna try me and my friends? I'ma get here out the block. Hell can't ride on the block.